just for fun to do here I thought we'd take a look or a listen to some dome acoustics um, not many people know that uh, domes in general have strange acoustic qualities uh, I do all the um, voiceover and things like that on my uh, computer here and depending on where it is, I've got the laptop as well um, and depending on where I sit can uh, make my uh, vocals sound a bit strange it, you might be getting the echo now uh, if I move somewhere else you'll find that the um, acoustics changes quite a bit so what you get in the dome is you get really weird acoustics depending where you are uh, in the dome uh, let's do a quick experiment okay I'm lying on the floor in the middle of my dome looking up at the ceiling uh, and I don't know if you can tell but my voice seems really e weirdly echoey and that's uh, one of the acoustic anomalies of geodesic domes or to be honest any dome structure I'm now looking at the floor in a corner and my voice sounds quite normal let's move over here and see if you can tell the acoustic change as I stand in the center of the dome I can really hear that clearly okay we can have a quick look um, I've got a program loaded onto my iPad I'm hoping this will work on the uh, on taking a video of an iPad um, I've loaded up a program called Ripple Tank and it it does acoustic waves and uh, other forms of wave but if we start a sound wave there and if we watch what happens it bounces off the walls and you get this even crisscross pattern that's a square or a uh, standard rectangular room will do that and you get a nice even crisscross so uh, the acoustics sound even uh, you'll get some um, reverb if you like some nice reverb but apart from that uh, it's all okay square square rooms are usually not too bad right uh, I've drawn a dome now uh, this is obviously a section through um, elevation of a dome if I put a again a similar so uh, sound wave there and let's play the thing what you get is you get the sound waves bouncing off and concentrating here so you get a concentration point here then they bounce back across the other side of the dome and you get a concentration point here so what that effectively does is, we'll just clear that is you get a loud spot where you've played uh, for example if you've got a radio on here and you're sat here it'll be very loud but if you move about the dome you'll get quiet spots uh, if we um, did this and we just move this down so that we have a full circle so now we're looking from the dome above you can probably picture it better actually if we do a sound wave uh, here play that and you get it even more effect it goes right around the dome and that's your concentration point there so that uh, if you're stood there and the radio is here it'll be really really loud here and here and here but quiet in other parts of the dome we we'll continue this you can see that's a real concentration point here and it goes back around the other side of the dome and you get another concentration point here and it goes back and forwards between those two concentra concentration points so you get a lot of um, echo or reverb in two points in the dome uh, whereas we saw in the rectangular building it was very much even so you could say either domes have really interesting or dreadful acoustics depending on what point of view I have been contacted by um, acoustic engineers trying to do um, sound setups in um, dome 
event, you know, somebody's put a dome up and, and they the, have to whack the sound system in and they've gone, this is an absolute nightmare. Uh, and it can be, um, because of the um, spots of loud, you get it can make a, a massive difference. You can actually have uh, a quiet spot where you really can't hear that much and uh, if you move a few feet, and this is a seven meter dome, if you move a few few feet you can you have quite a lot, um, a quite a huge difference um, in in volume. So obviously, if you're setting up in a big dome and you're trying to do a sound system, and there's a stage, typically a stage is on one side of the dome, uh, and that's when the effect's worse. Um, if you're in the middle of a dome, what happens is the sound wave goes out, and then is reflected straight back at you, and keeps doing that. That's why you get that um, sound like you've got your head inside a tin can. Um, and that's uh, that's if you lie on your back um, uh, in the middle of the dome you'll get that effect um, ways to mitigate uh, soft furnishings if you build if you build walls I've got in my dome I have um, these little walls sticking out from the side and that that helps a little bit because it does, stops it going around the dome it doesn't help anything at all from if you st stood in the middle there's nothing I can there's nothing I can do um, to stop that, it's it's just a fact of life in domes, um, that you ha you have an echo if you stood in the middle of it. Uh, soft furnishing is probably the best way to go. So you've got a sound absorbing something to absorb sound. You could put that acoustic foam up to um, to stop it as well. Um, unless you like an echo, uh, it doesn't really bother me to be honest. But um, I thought you'd find that interesting anyway. Um, and if you are a sound engineer. Uh, you have my condolences if you try to set up a system in a dome because it is uh, uh, not a nice job. Thanks for watching uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.